Okay, so we're going to show you how to layer a vestibular ocular reflex with an isometric contraction. So we're actually going to engage in standing and we're going to engage a position that reflects um, a similar position to the, the positive support reflex. So when I engage my foot and particularly uh, the areas around my, my metatarsal heads, that's going to trigger a, an isometric contraction, particularly in the extensor muscles, the, the anti-gravity muscles. But I can also get a co-contraction between the, the right femur and the, the hamstring back. So once you engage that position, just freeze before the point you're about to toe off the back leg. So hold that position. You can see I'm a bit unsteady here. And then you're going to bring a point of fixation. We're going to use the next here. We're going to bring that arm's length out in front, maximally intent on keeping that X in clear focus. And then hold the focus, hold the gaze. And then we're going to turn our head to the right and then come back slow. Always maintaining clear focus on the X and then we can go to the left. We can do a few reps to the left, a few reps to the right and we can go up direction and then down direction. And you can see as I turn my head to one side, that's going to create a response throughout the rest of my body. So like, there's many ways we can use the vestibular system. You can use it as almost like an internal perturbation to allow for a reaction throughout the rest of the body. Or we can start to engage specific parts of the vestibular system that aren't able to accept the load well to improve how muscle tone is communicated into the body to allow for better response to unexpected perturbations or to produce force in the same manner.